Hello, everyone. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Good to see everyone this morning. Hope everything's going well. Hope your classes are going well for you this week. Any uh, academic challenges? Anything that's work that's uh, consuming a lot of your time uh, this week? In writing, grammar, culture, reading. All those, brother. Everything. Anybody have any general questions about your English development so far this semester? I know it's still early, 8 o'clock. Hard to think about English questions at 8 o'clock in the morning. I get it. All right. Um, it looks like folks are still coming in this morning. I want to focus on what we started yesterday, really trying to think about how we take notes, especially when we're listening to uh, the TOEFL listening exercises. And I wanted to do a kind of a group activity today with you about taking notes, about the audios that we listened to yesterday. And I also want to, today in class, give you another opportunity to listen to the audio after having done today's activity. Really thinking about how we can take notes and really digging into the specifics of the audios that we listened to yesterday. I want to start by asking everyone, if you have not done so already, to take a picture of the notes that you took yesterday. For better or for worse, whatever, whatever condition they happen to be in, take a picture, create an image from your phone, and I would like to, I would like to ask you to upload that image to Microsoft Teams, Files, Week 10. I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly where I'm referring to. So I'm in Microsoft Teams under the General Channel, under Files. And let's go under Week 10. And here I would like for you to add your notes, an image of your notes. Okay, try to add your some image to your notes. If your notes happen to be more than one page, uh, just upload. If you're if you don't have an app that easily scans more than one page into one document, then just upload one page. Okay, don't make it any more complicated than it has to be for now. Um, if anyone's interested, I have a really good app for Android and iPhone too, I think, that scans multiple pages and creates one file, one PDF file or an image file, and it's pretty useful. So I'll share that with you later. But for now, try to upload to this space in Microsoft Teams at this time the notes that you took yesterday. And I'll give you a minute or two to do that. While we wait, if anybody has any questions, feel free to jump right in, turn your mic on. You just want to share how things are going with your classes and prope. Feel free to jump right in. Again, for those of you who are just arriving to class, I'm asking everyone to take a picture of the notes that you took yesterday during the TOEFL practice and upload that image file to, to um, 
to Microsoft Teams, week 10. You'll go under files. There's a folder called week 10. And I'm asking everyone to upload their notes from yesterday that they took. Now, if you didn't take any notes, fine, then don't upload anything. But if you took notes yesterday, whatever they happen to look like, okay, this is just to get an idea of our note-taking from yesterday's activity. Okay, go ahead and try to upload that image file right now. And also, while we wait, if anyone wants to jump in, talk about their experiences so far in Prope, or if you have any questions, kind of leaving this open right now and just giving you a few minutes to upload your files. Okay, there's a general tab, and then week 10 should be able to find. You may have to scroll down just a little bit. Open up the folder called Week 10, and this is where you can upload your image. Okay, so we'll wait just a few minutes here. If anybody wants to jump in, chat, talk about any of your experiences so far. With Prope, if you have a question, maybe from another class, feel free to jump right in. Sometimes uh, some of you send me messages asking questions from your other classes. That's fine also. You can also schedule time if you want to meet outside of class. If you have some specific questions that you want addressed, we can also do that. Okay, The main thing is that you're getting help when you need it. If you have questions that's going that you have from your other classes, it's really important to reach out to your teachers or assistants. Again, for those of you who are just joining, we're uploading our notes from yesterday's TOEFL exercise. We're going to upload our notes to Microsoft Teams under the general channel under Files. Week 10. So if you haven't done so already, please go ahead at this time and upload your notes from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm going to ask, even though maybe you feel that it's not useful or it's not complete, uh, I would encourage you to go ahead and upload whatever it is. If it's one word, I would recommend that you upload it uh, because today we're going to do an activity and you might want to uh, c compare and contrast what you have, what you had yesterday versus what you might have today. So I would encourage you to upload whatever you wrote out, even if it's just one or two words. All right, you're welcome. This isn't for a grade. This is just kind of a reflective exercise for us to, um, to kind of compare what we end up having after we do this activity that we're going to do here in a minute. And I want you to be able to compare what you had yesterday and I would also like this to be available to all of your classmates so that you can also compare what you have with your classmates. Okay, so it looks like some of you are uploading your notes. We'll, I'll spend just maybe a minute or two longer to give you to upload your notes. Okay, again, under week 10, this we're in week 10 so far this fall semester of 2020. And this is where I would like for us to upload our notes.
Yes. Yeah, that's fine. And then just uh, whatever you have, whatever you can use uh, to take a picture. It can be, uh, you know, on your phone. Even if your phone is not the greatest, that's that's fine. No problem. Hmm? You're welcome. Okay, for those of you who are just joining, we're uploading our notes from yesterday. So if you have not done so already, please take a picture of the notes that you took yesterday, for better or for worse, whatever they happen to be. Create a file image and upload it to Microsoft Teams under the general channel under files. I created a folder called week 10. Since we're in week 10 uh, this week, uh, we're going to upload our notes from yesterday to that folder called Week 10. Okay, it can be an image file. It can be a PDF. doesn't matter. If you took notes that are more than one page, don't worry about trying to take pictures of all the pages. Just one page is fine. If you didn't take any notes, of course, there's nothing to upload. Even if your notes are really incomplete or you feel like it's not very useful, that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and continue. If you haven't had a chance to upload your notes, please uh, encourage you to do so because it's going to be, I think, important uh, to compare maybe what you had before versus what you're, you're about to have uh, after today's activity. So the first thing I want to mention, guys, I'm going to open up here our class page for today. And I will go ahead and share this link. I, I shared this link in Microsoft Teams, but I'll share the link here as well in the chat so that you have this. It's easier for you to either look at my screen or to open this up yourself. But you'll notice for today, um, actually, I, that's weird. I think I have it in another space. Let me open up here. Yeah. All right. I'm going to open this up. Let me share this link. This is the page I wanted to share with you. And this page talks about taking notes, taking notes while you're listening to the TOEFL listening section. And they, they break it down into three different sections or three different ways that you can take notes. So they start off by saying that you can write down only nouns or verbs or adjectives, right? So in your grammar class, you are learning about content words. And these are content words. Content words are simply words that have a lot of meaning. So in English, when we think about nouns and verbs and adjectives, these are words that hold meaning. And when you're taking notes, they recommend that you stick to only writing content words. Right? So you don't have to write connectors. You don't need to write prepositions. Right? Just write down the nouns, the verbs, and the adjectives. Now, this... This is going to be helpful because some of you have mentioned that it's difficult to take notes while you're listening. And this is a skill that, that we need to try to work on, right? To improve, to become more comfortable with writing while we listen. We call this active listening. So this is certainly one way to do that. Don't feel that you have to write out a sentence, write out every single word that you hear. Try just writing out the content words. The second thing they mention, and we'll look at some examples here, is to write only the consonants. So remember we have consonants and vowels. 
So let's let's just jump down here because I think the first point is pretty straightforward. Just focus on content words. But when we talk about <clears throat> writing down consonants, not vowels, what do we mean? Well, here are some examples. In right instead of writing sleep, S L E E P, maybe we write S L P. Right? Instead of writing out the word symptoms, we can omit the, the vowels and just simply write S M P T M S. Depression, we write out D P R S N. And the point here is that we're not writing out entire words, we're simplifying and almost abbreviating certain words that we already will understand because of the context, because we're already listening. It's not like we're reading this for the first time and we're like, SLP, what are we talking about? The whole dialogue is about sleep, right? So this is another way that you can simplify your note-taking just writing the consonants. All right, so not only are we not writing every single word, we're only going to write nouns, adjectives, and verbs, but we're also going to try to simplify, abbreviate, and they're suggesting abbreviating by omitting the vowels. Okay? Here's some other examples. Anxiety. Instead of writing out the whole word anxiety, we write out a and X T Y and, and that's pretty straightforward. You know, a lot of these are really obvious. Uh, create C R E T E. You could even write this phonetically, right? Whatever it sounds like. You're not concerned about spelling, right? You're not concerned about grammar. These are just notes to yourself so that you can recall the information. And the whole point of trying to take notes while you listen is to try to get as much information down so that you can refer back to it when you are, are uh, presented a question. Let's scroll down here. The third is know your core symbols. And I mentioned one yesterday, the arrow. But they have some other symbols that you might want to use for listening to your TOEFL audios. For example, here, plus. So plus could mean some sort of benefit, a positive thing. It could also mean also, like if you're adding something like this plus this, right? Or combined or together. I mean, one symbol like this can possibly mean all of these things. And again, because you've already listened to the audio or you're listening to it in real time, this symbol is going to have uh, some meaning. And it could mean any of these things. Notice here the symbol for not or no, negative or stop. A little circle with a line through it. A question mark, you're not sure, lecture's not sure, right? Or the question, this could also be a student asking a question. The student is not sure about what major he or she wants to pursue. We have up and down arrows, right? So an up arrow could mean rising, increase, improve, positive, beneficial. Down arrow, the opposite. A horizontal arrow from left to right leads to or results, I, I even think cause and effect, if something uh, causes something else to happen, you can also use this horizontal li line from left to right to represent that idea. We have the equal sign, the non-equal sign, right? And we also have the forward slash. All right, so these are some symbols, and these aren't all the symbols, of course. You might even come up with some of your own symbols, but use symbols throughout uh, to connect your ideas, right? To try to make relationships. That's where symbols are going to be very helpful because a lot of times you're going to have ideas that, have, that are related in some way. Either they contrast or maybe it's a cause and effect. Maybe they're similar in certain aspects and they're different in other aspects. So using symbols, 
abbreviating words by omitting the vowels, or at least some of the vowels, and not writing out all of the words, but writing only the content words, the words that have meaning. And those are nouns, they're verbs, they're adjectives, they're not prepositions. Don't worry about articles, right? All of those types of words are called function words. We don't need to write out function words because they have little meaning, very little meaning. Content words are words that have a lot of meaning. All right, so these are some suggestions, and this is coming from this page. I shared it in the chat. Take a look at it on your own to get familiar with some of these tips that they recommend while you're listening to, uh, to an audio. And again, this might be new for you. This might be something that you've never tried. And maybe it, it feels strange, difficult, awkward. Maybe you just feel that you can't do it. But we need to try to begin learning how to do this because this is going to be helpful for you. That, that this is going to help um, in many aspects, not just with the TOEFL, but if you're taking notes in your classes, these are strategies that will translate to other classes. When the teacher's speaking, right? Like when I speak and you're listening to me, you might take notes. You might practice writing a few things that I say in real time, right? That either that you're not sure about or just a key point that you think is, that you need to look up later or for whatever reason, you're writing these these ideas down, right? And this is a skill, right? This is a skill that we need to try to develop. And this is the whole point of today's lesson, today's class, is to look at how we take notes. Now, what I want to do next here is, is to divide up in teams. And the teams that I would like us to to uh, to work with today. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. All of you have this link as well, but these are the teams that I'd like for us to work in uh, in this activity. So find your name. If for some reason your name doesn't appear here, please let me know. I think everyone's here, but let me know if your name is does not appear. You should be in one of these teams, one, one, one through six, team one through team six, okay? Now, what I'd like for us to do is if you go into Microsoft Teams under week 10, where I'm asking everyone to also upload your notes, I'd like everyone to open up this Word document that's called Summaries. And it should look something like this. So I think we had six audios from yesterday's TOEFL, and it just so happens we have six teams. Funny how that works out, right? We have six teams, six audios. So guess what? Team one is going to focus on the first audio. Team two, the second audio. Team three, the third audio. Team four, and so on. Now what are we going to do? in this section. What I would like for us to do, what I would like for you to do within your teams is to create an outline of ideas that relate, that relate to your audio. All of you, some of you have notes, some of you have more notes than, than others, but I'd like for you to recall as much as possible from your notes now, right? Because now the audio, we listened to the audio yesterday, almost like 24 hours ago. So you're probably not going to remember much without looking at your notes. So I would like for us to, as a team, I would like for you to consolidate all of your notes into one space, into this one space that I've listed in this document. And again, I would, I would think of it like a, an outline. You can use columns as, as well if you want to use columns. That's fine. If you guys want to go into your breakout rooms and you want to talk about it 
as you're completing this document. You may do that. If you just want to go into the document without talking to your classmates and just uh, add notes, that's fine also. All right, but we want to have as complete as possible notes, ideas, right, in this one central document. And I want us to work in teams to complete each of these audios. The last thing that I'm going to ask everyone to do is I would like for each team to replace the title. For example, instead of saying audio one, I would like for you as a team to decide on a good title for the audio based on your understanding of the audio. A title. I would say six to 12 words is reasonable for, for the title. So we replace each of the titles, each of the headings, instead of writing out audio one, audio two, audio three, we're gonna have a title that represents the general idea, the main idea of, of the audio. All right, so I'm going to give you guys um, about, let's see, it's 8.26. I'm going to give you about a half an hour, I would say 8.55 more or less, because I want to start right at 9 o'clock with the next part of the activity. So I'm going to give you about a half an hour. Again, you may work in your breakout rooms, creating an online meeting to discuss what you're working on in the document. If you don't want to do that, you may just write out, and collaborate in this one document. But try to work together in organizing the ideas into something that's meaningful, that's useful for, for everyone. All right? And um, the last thing I'll say, um, you know, you can go into your breakout rooms. If you go into breakout rooms, just use the breakout rooms one through six. So if you're team one and you're working on the first audio, go into the group one channel in Microsoft Teams. If you're team two working on the second audio, go into group two channel in Microsoft Teams and so on. All right, guys, any questions about what we're doing today? All right, so go ahead and work on this. We'll come back at 8.55. We will reconvene at 8.55. If you guys have any questions, of course, I'll be here. I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic, but jump right in if you have questions about uh, this activity. All right, guys, it is 8.55. I see that um, you're including some, uh, some detail, some good information in each of your for each of your audios. Looks like uh, Team 5 has a good title. Team 4 has a good title. Make sure that you include a title that represents the main idea of your audio. I'm going to give you five more minutes. I want you to try to review all the information in this document, and I want you to update your own personal notes, all right? So um, it could be based on your conversations that you had with your team today. It could also be notes that have been included in other, from other teams' audios. But I want you to complete your own personal notes in your own notebook as much as possible based on the information in this document. I'm gonna give you about five minutes, about nine o'clock, we are going to uh, we're going to listen again to the TOEFL questions. Okay, we're going to listen to the questions and the audio, and I'm going to encourage you to continue to add to your notes. Try to take additional notes, even still, as much as possible while you're listening to the audio, using the three different ways that we talked about the tips of uh, the different ways that you can take notes when listening to the audio, right? So the first being focus only on the content words. So we want to focus on nouns and adjectives and verbs primarily and try to avoid writing out sentences. Try to avoid function words such as articles, prepositions, connectors. Again, stick to content words. Number two, 
try to abbreviate words by omitting, for the most part, the vowels, sticking to the consonants, right? Only the consonants. And the third way, try to use symbols, the plus sign, negative sign, the circle with the line through it, arrows, up and down arrows, horizontal arrows, and so on. Try to use those, those strategies for taking notes this time around, even though maybe you already have some notes based on what we're looking at here today, right? I want us to listen again and uh, listen again to the audio that we listened to yesterday and see how we do. Again, practicing the notes, taking notes, and also trying to answer the questions correctly based on the notes that we have. All right, so we're going to begin here in a couple of minutes. Go ahead and take a look at all of the information in this document. Take a look at your own notes and make any additional changes to your notes based on this document. Okay, we'll start here in about two minutes. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to share the link now to the questions for the audio that we're going to listen to here today. I'm going to share this in the chat. So go ahead and open up in your browser. Go ahead and open up in your browser the questions now to the TOEFL. I want you to, again, do your best to take notes. Try to use the three different strategies that we talked about this morning. Add as much as you can to the notes that you already have based on the activity that we did this morning, based on the notes that you took yesterday. And I'm going to go ahead and play the audio now for the TOEFL questions here. And if, it, if it's easier for you to download the audio, the audio is still in the temp folder from yesterday. So if you want, if you still have it on your computer, of course, it's going to be the same audio as yesterday, same questions as yesterday. But again, focusing on the development of taking our notes, relying on our notes to answer the questions correctly. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and begin. I will play a couple of seconds of the audio to make sure that you can hear the audio.
All right, guys. Um, make sure that you've submitted your responses just to give you an idea about how well you're doing with answering the questions. Today, we focused on taking notes, and we talked about three main ways of doing that. What's one way that we can take notes? What's one strategy? Uh, specifically, what kind of words or keywords? That's right. Nouns, verbs, and adjectives. We call those content words. So it's not just writing any kind of word. It's writing those content words. Nouns, verbs, and adjectives. Avoiding function words like prepositions and articles. What's the second strategy for taking notes that we talked about today? That's right. So we want to avoid vowels and only include consonants or include uh, mainly consonants. All right. And what's the third strategy for taking notes that we talked about today? Sorry? You remember? That's right. Use symbols like plus sign, question mark, using arrows. Okay. So I encourage you guys in your other classes, when your teacher's speaking to you in English, that you're, you can use some of these strategies. Try, try these out. Tomorrow, we're going to have another listening TOEFL review. And I'm going to encourage you uh, again to take notes and try to use these new strategies, but try to use these strategies, not only in our class, but in your other classes so that you get used to using them. Okay, guys, uh, we'll stop there for today. I hope you guys have a good day today and tomorrow we'll start up at eight o'clock sharp uh, with the next TOEFL review. Thanks guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.